Good morning, viewers. Good morning and win today. Win tomorrow and win forever. Yes, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome in Christ's presence. As we are gathered in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ is in our midst. Because the Bible makes us understand that where two or more believers are gathered in his name, Christ Jesus is in their presence. So you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. So anywhere you are, prepare your heart to begin to listen to God's word. Prepare your heart to begin to receive from God. Prepare your hearts to begin to hear from God. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take. Every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way in me. Yes, 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 yes. Every moment that I'm awake, Lord Jesus, have your way in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, viewers. Yes, it is time to listen to the word of God. Ask Lord Jesus to open your heart that you'll be able to receive his word and you'll be able to act upon the word of God. Remember, it is not the hearer of the word that receives the reward, but the doer of the word who receives the reward. And that reward is eternal life. So begin to ask Jesus right now. Say, Lord Jesus, open my heart to your word. Open my heart to your spirit. Lord Jesus, help me to act upon your word. Help me to live by your word. Help me to be a doer of the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, viewers, it is time to listen to the word of God. Let us turn our Bibles to Matthew. Let us go to Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Matthew 15. We we'll take our reading from verse 8 to 9. Matthew chapter 15. Verse 8 to 9. Matthew 15, 8 to 9. Jesus says, These people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. I read again, Matthew 15, 8 to 9. These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Hmm. Honor Jesus with your heart. Honor Jesus with your heart. Today it is easier for people to confess the name Jesus Christ with their lips, yet act in a contrary manner. It is easier to say Jesus is Lord, Jesus is the Lord of your life, yet your lifestyle, your attitude, your character, your conduct and behavior are not guided by his word. Confessing the name Jesus Christ without a thorough reformation of heart and life is a mockery of the very fundamental article of the Christian faith. For you to honor Jesus with your heart, you need to be born again. Being born again 
is a new birth in, the, in Christ Jesus, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Only then can the Holy Spirit begin to work in you, begin to change you, begin to cause you to act on the word of God. Jesus says, says here, he says, in vain do they worship me. Many today can sing so beautifully in church. They can raise their hands in worship. Yet in doing so, their heart is not worshiping God at that particular moment. That is why the Bible says those who must worship God must do so in spirit and in truth. Is your act of worshiping God in spirit and in truth? Is your act of praising God in spirit and in truth? Or is it only with the mouth? Is it only on the external? As you are singing, as you are worshiping God, are you also doing the same in your heart? Because Jesus says, it, he said, these people, they honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. So as so many Christians today, they are eager, ready to go to church, to dance, to sing, to shout, praise the Lord. But yet, their heart is not submitting to God. Honor Jesus with your heart. Honor Jesus with your heart. Because God is not looking on the outside. God does not look at the external, but the heart of men. Remember the book of Proverbs 16, verse 2? The way of a man is pure in his sight. But it is God who weighs our spirit, our hearts. Your worshiping God in church could be beautiful. You singing could be so powerful on the outside. But God is not looking at that. He's looking at your heart. You may have a beautiful voice than me. You will sing beautifully and I may not have a good voice. But when I sing, I could cause the host of heaven to move. Because God is not looking at the beauty of my voice. But from where is that worship coming from? Your worship, is it coming from the heart? Or your worship is coming from the mouth? Or from your mental assets? Is your worship coming from your brain, from your, from your memory? Because many people today, they have memorized songs. When they are singing, they are singing a playlist of songs. But that song is not sprung, is not springing from their hearts. Honor Jesus with your heart. Let your heart be close to him. Submit to God and resist the temptations of this world. Resist your fleshly desires and give in to what the Holy Spirit is asking you to do. Let your lifestyle be guided by Christ's word. Let your lifestyle be guided by the commandments of Christ. Let your lifestyle be guided by the doctrines, by the teachings of Christ and not the doctrines of men. The doctrines of men are there to please the desires of men. But they are not there to submit to the will of God. The doctrines of men are there to to please your selfish, your fleshly desires, what you want in life. 
than to cause you to submit to God. Honor Jesus with your heart and not just your lips. Bible says, if you confess in the book of Romans 9, 10 verse 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The confession of our mouth must have our heart full agreement. You cannot confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord but your heart is far from him. It means you do not believe. It means your confession is just with the lips and it is not coming from a deep place of belief. As Christians, it is very, very, very important that everything we are doing comes from our heart because that is where God looks like. He does not look looks at he does not look at the externals. He does not look at what we do on the outside, but what we do from within. Remember, Jesus Christ sees what is done in the secrets. So also he also sees our hearts. You can be pure on the outside. If you are not pure within, he is going to see it because hypocrisy, no matter how cleverly managed, cannot be hidden from Jesus Christ. He sees everything. So honor Jesus with your heart and not just with your mouth, with your lips. So may the Lord bless his word in your heart this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, it is time for prayers. It is time for prayers. Get ready for prayers. Anywhere you are, open your mouth. Let us ask God to help us to transform us that whatever we do will be according to his word. Let us ask God to fill our heart with his spirit, to fill our heart with his word, that we will be guided, we will be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Begin to ask God to walk in you to change your conduct and your behavior, to help you not just to worship him with your mouth, but to also worship him with, with your heart. Ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. I say, Lord Jesus, ask him to transform your life, to transform you, to cause you to begin to live according to his word, to cause you to be a doer of the word and not just the hearer of the word. That as you are going there today, as you are out there today, you are going to begin to honor him. Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit that you will be able to honor him with your heart and not just with your lips. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray, open your mouth and pray. Ask him to fill you with his word. To fill your heart with his word to transform your life. Ask him, ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit will begin to influence your conduct and behavior in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for we have prayed. Yes, viewers, 
when God comes to require of his worshiper, when he comes to inquire of those who worshiped him, the question will not be who sang with the most beautiful voice. The question will not be who is a pastor. The question will not be who is an evangelist. The question will not be who worship in the biggest church. The question will be who worship in spirit and in truth. To worship God in spirit and in truth, it must first come from your heart. That is, your worship, your act of worship, your act of prayer, your act of singing are being guided and regulated by the word of God. That is, when you sing, you are also being directed by the Holy Spirit. It is pure and it is in truth coming from your heart and not just hypocrisy or things coming from the surface. So let us be guided. Let us always remember to worship God in spirit and in truth. Without the Holy Spirit, you breathe Without the Spirit of God, you preach in vain.